Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, am I eligible for a business purposes or a hardship license? When you get arrested for DUI in Florida and you've either blown over the legal limit of .08 or you've refused to blow, then your Florida driver's license is automatically and administratively suspended. The DUI citation itself serves as a 10-day temporary and restricted driver's license. For more information on this, please watch Haber PA's video FAQ number 202, When Can I Drive with a Florida Hardship or BPO driver's license? Come day 11, if you want to drive, then you will have had to have gone to DMV and sought a physical restricted BPO or hardship license by way of electing either a formal and informal or an eligibility review hearing. That said, there are four ways that you're ineligible for a BPO or a hardship license. The first is easy. If you don't go to DMV and apply for either the formal, informal, or eligibility review within 10 calendar days of the day that you got your DUI citation, then your own inaction renders you ineligible. DMV is very strict about this 10-day deadline. So absent the most extraordinary of circumstances, they will have a zero-tolerance policy regarding passing that 10-day window. The second way is, if you have two or more prior DUI convictions on your record, then you are ineligible for a BPO or a hardship license, period. You are eligible with one prior DUI conviction, but not if you have a second or more. The third way you're ineligible is if you have a commercial driver's license or a CDL. CDL holders are not eligible for BPO or hardship licenses, and it does not matter if it's your first DUI, it does not matter if you were not at work when you got the DUI, it does not matter if you were driving a private and not a work vehicle at the time that you got the DUI. All that matters is that you had a CDL. That in and of itself disqualifies you from getting a BPO or a hardship license. Finally, if the DUI that you got involves serious bodily injury, or if you've previously been charged with a vehicular manslaughter, then you're also disqualified from getting or applying for a BPO or a hardship license. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out more soon.